it isn't made of gold, silver, platinum, or paper. It can't be physically touched or be put into your piggy bank. It's cryptocurrency, and it's completely digital. You can shop with it, but it stands for something more. It stands for revolution in technology. Digital currency, as the name implies, only exists electronically. The most known example is Bitcoin, which some of you may have heard of. But what most of you don't know is how it really works, how the underlying technology of the coin will eventually change the world. So what makes this Bitcoin so special? Bitcoin and all the other cryptocurrencies are decentralized, meaning that there are no governments, authorities, or companies that decide how many Bitcoins are produced, controlling the price of the currency, or investigating fraud. The technology that makes this all happen is called blockchain. So how does it work? You and your family decide to play some Monopoly. But the thing is, is when you open the box, you find out that the fake money isn't there. So, to solve the problem, each player pulls out a sheet of paper, starts to write down who owes who how much, and all the other data necessary to play. And of course, it's Monopoly. So no one really trusts each other on keeping the information. Each player keeps their own copy separate until the end of each round. Then, everyone compares the sheet of paper to find out who has made an honest mistake. It happens. And we all know that Monopoly takes a very long time to finish, and in most cases, it never ends up looking like this. <laughs> but after all this time, each player will have 10 pages of data. And if you consider one page of data a block of information, and one page linked to the other like a chain, the final product will be a blockchain. And essentially, it's a growing list of records called blocks that are linked, distributed, and secure. The consequences of blockchain technology could especially be life-changing for people that live in underdeveloped or disadvantaged countries. Developing countries are confronted with life-changing situations on a daily basis. Dictatorships, social violence, financial disasters. But this is where blockchain can truly blossom and make a difference. Just until recently, a man named Mugabe has been in power in Zimbabwe ever since 1980. He's known for being racist, homophobic, has committed countless crimes against humanity. But what he is famous for in Zimbabwe is stripping people of what they own. Most importantly, their land. Consider this. A man owns a small piece of land that has been in his family for generation after generation. He has two small kids which he feeds because of what he farms. This land is this man's everything. It's his life. But one year, government officials knock on his door and tell him that his land isn't listed on government files. And just like this, he loses his everything. And how can blockchain, something so virtual, so intangible, change the outcome of something so real? A new project called Bitland has been up and running in Africa and it hopes to give the Africans a better method to record title deeds using the Bitland blockchain. Bitland stores the deeds inside the blockchain, and an infinite number of dictators or evil men can't change the proof of ownership of your home. The people that maintain the data on the blockchain are called miners. And these miners have massive amounts of computer power. And all they do is check the blockchain and compare it to the blockchain of other miners, making sure that everything on there is the correct data. And the websites and applications that we use nowadays by the internet all contain duplicated data of whatever we're viewing. Whether it be an email, a PDF, or a YouTube video on kittens, that isn't the original version. But this is where blockchain changes everything. Blockchain makes sure that anything you put or store on the internet is the original version and cannot be copied. Opening promising possibilities for contracts, stocks, bonds, money, and all types of assets to be put and stored on the internet without having the risk of them being lost. And this technology will definitely revolutionize certain fields. And one of the most important will be the bank system. One of the main roles that a bank has nowadays is transferring money. And in 2016, foreign nationals sent around $442 billion back home to their families. And the average transaction cost was of 10%. 
Now banks will tell you this fee is for being reliable and convenient. 10%. Convenient? I like to call it legalized theft. It's nice of you and thank you, but what if I don't want to be forced to pay a third party? My family employs an immigrant named Araceli. Every month, she sends her money back home to her family in Peru. She gets paid, goes to the bank, sends the money. The money probably gets to her family around five days later. I hope you're all asking yourselves, why can't she just use Bitcoin? In fact, she should. Blockchain gives the possibility to people like Araceli to send assets through the internet without a third party. She would buy Bitcoin, for example, send it to her family, and her family would then sell it in Peruvian currency. All of this in a matter of 20 minutes, while just paying the exchanges and miners 1% of the transaction. In 2014, JP Morgan, one of the biggest banks in the world, was hacked. Hackers were able to steal customer information that eventually led to huge amounts of funds being stolen from different accounts. $100 million exactly. But with blockchain, this would have never happened. Blockchain makes it nearly impossible for any money to be stolen. As for a hack to be successful, all the data in the blockchain would have to be changed simultaneously in all the miners' computers around the world. Blockchain's possibilities are endless, and eventually, they will be life-changing for all of us. Ever since the invention of the internet, we have just been scraping at the surface of its true potential. Now, with blockchain, technology that belongs to the people, we can start to avoid government and corporate interference in our everyday lives. Be curious. Look into it. Try and be a part of it. It isn't a government's, and it isn't a company's. It is free to use, and no one can take it from us. Thank you.